Okay. Uh, back again to uh, this time start up on how to uh, properly assign keys to your JPEG. Um, there was a part of the installation that I'm going to skip for now because uh, the panels on the DDR machine itself, um, I can't take them off without a drill and uh, I'll just be posting that later. Basically what you have to do for the, the bottom part is you have to uh, cut about um, two and a half to three inch speaker wire and um, you're going to have to bridge the connection between uh, different Molex um, prongs on each motherboard for the pads to properly work with the DDR machine. So I can't really show you that right now because I don't have a drill to take it out because when you take the top cover off on the drill or on the, the pad there's also a second cover and it's a heavier steel and that's covered by four other screws so I mean I can't do anything right now, but I am going to show you how to um, it's, or, right, how to set up the JPEG software with the DDR machine. So what you do is uh, you get a CD from Ultimark, and it has the JPEG in it. And I already showed you how to connect it to the back of the machine. And uh, when you when you install that CD, you go to Start. Make sure you get it on that. Okay. Okay, well I guess we're just going to have to move forward then. Okay, so you want to get start and then all programs. And then what you want to do is come down to here to win IPAC. Okay, I know it's IPAC and not JPAC. It's just a standard for every single thing on there. Basically IPAC came out first before the JPAC, so they just never changed the name. So, but this will work, this will work just fine for the JPAC. And uh, what you want to do is, um, as you'll see right here, uh, this is like your, your key assignments. If I actually go right here into test mode okay come back down here okay if I press a key you'll see that it corresponds to a letter now you want to make sure that uh, you, you set them to all letters you don't want spacebar you don't want numbers you just want to set all the letters so make sure you just use up all the letters first okay the next thing you want to make sure you do is um, you want to go into the control panel and uh, you want to take off shifted keys so just make sure that you don't have shifted keys on okay because uh, otherwise you're going to see some lag when you when you hit the button. It won't uh, see if like you can just get there. Okay, see how I press the button right there. If I press it, I can I can press it and everything will work just fine. But if you have shifty keys turned on, it, it won't work properly. So just make sure you do that. So what I'm going to do now is you uh, you have your your key assignments right over here. Okay, and you want to go into table view. Okay, so I've selected table view. And everything in green here is player one, okay, right here, all the way up these. And everything down here, oh, don't even worry about the L shift and everything like that. That's something completely different. Those are my separate wirings, so you do not have to worry about that. But uh, the, the three buttons for each um, player, the left, right, and the start button, uh, is, is how I'm going to show you how to set. So basically what you do is you would normally, you would go into test mode okay and you would hit the button and my button says C when I hit start okay yours might say something completely different so what you do is after you go into table view see like whatever comes up whenever you're hitting the start button and change it to a letter if it's not already a letter okay and I want you to you have to do that for every other button as well okay and then once you do that uh, you can hit let's see if there's anything in options that you need oh make sure it's on USB too for your connection you want win ipac2 slash jpac mini dash pac okay and then for your connection you want usb unless of course you have your jpac um, where it has the ps2 connector and it goes it, it's like a ps2 to a ps2 which would be from the jpac to like your keyboard for instance um, but usually they send you a a jpac to a usb cord so just make sure that uh, that the USB is checked, okay? And for your download timers right here, uh, it, it's really, I mean, really, it doesn't matter. Um, this is actually just for, like, how fast you want to update your, your settings, but you're only going to do it once, and it's going to save permanently. So it really doesn't matter. I mean, I have mine set in the middle. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I would probably set it somewhere 
somewhere in between because if you set it too fast it might not it might not get the correct settings um, you might have like something might be off or whatever and you might have to do it again or whatever but it's not a big deal so just put it somewhere like in the middle and it'll be okay so I'm gonna cancel this because mine's already all set okay and then once you have that all you have to do is just hit this button right here it's program okay once I hit program uh, I'm not gonna do it because mine are already set um, it'll automatically save these settings to the computer that you have installed and it's going to be saved um, as well as the um, uh, the settings for the pad so basically every time you start up the machine uh, your pad is going to correspond to a certain key on the keyboard and hopefully uh, if you set it correctly which should just be all letters see I have mostly here is pretty much it's all I've used up all the letters so I had to start using um, uh, like space and shift and stuff like that, but that's that's for a different different option. That's uh, that's for like I, I have six keys. If you could take a look right here, see. So don't even don't even worry about that. These basically you're just gonna be worried about these three keys, okay? And these three keys. Oh, I actually drilled holes in mine, and I set up different keys and I put more switches in. So I mean, for instance, I have an up and a down button for option menu, as well as a left and a right. And this would be my escape button. That's my start button. But you're only going to have this, so um, it's actually it's going to correspond to it's going to work in um, in Step Mania that uh, you know you can hold the left and a right at the same time and hit the start button, and it will actually um, uh, it'll actually sort for you and stuff like that. So everything that you set in Step Mania will still work even if you have the shifted keys turned off. Okay, how much time do I have left?